You cannot imagine how was this building only five years ago. It was literally an ugly duckling. To be able to do everything that we wanted to do, to change the area, to create an iconic building, it was not easy. So we brought the best architect with the best team. We've been leading the project with Lord Foster, myself, Pablo, Emilio, and with the whole team of ACCIONA. Working with ACCIONA from the beginning, we seem to align on a common objective on sustainability. I think that's probably the key element of the brief, to turn this uh, old factory in, into something that'll be useful for office, and then to be able to fit around 800 people working comfortably, and probably above all that, to make a truly sustainable uh, project uh, for the employees and also for the city of Madrid. The ultimate exercise in sustainability is to recycle a building. Here, I think there was a very nice convergence because it is architecturally a really interesting building and the outcome goes further than anything that we'd done before. Indeed, it meets the Paris Accord. It's a one planet project. So saving all the brickwork, recycling that something like 10,000 tons of brickwork. That's embodied carbon that was put here in 1905. Mm. So in terms of quantifying the carbon, that's, that's a, a great impact. The wood is a lightweight structure. It doesn't need much foundation. The intervention can stand on its own. If you have this connection with nature, with natural light, with gardens, there's a kind of tactile quality about the contrast between the wood the recycled brickwork. It is a, a palette of natural materials and what is now called uh, biophilia, which is really the importance of engaging with nature, is a healthier environment. So it's not just good for the planet, it's good for those who are working there. The light on the inside is, is quite special, thanks to these uh, wonderful windows. And the windows have been also restored you see the steel frames, those are the original ones. And we've just replaced the glass. And that gives uh, really good natural light into the inside. Most of the time, you don't even need to switch the lights on. This park actually is open for public during the day. You have a constant relationship between the outside and the inside. When you step outside to the courtyard, when you walk through the gardens, you feel connected somehow to the building all the time. This has become a reference for Madrid, a reference for this country, a reference worldwide.